Ancient story number one. The story of Sveta Ketu and the salt and seed. Once upon a time, there was a little boy, a boy who was only eight years old. So he was a little bit younger than you. And he'd been to school and spent time with his teacher who was trying to tell him that God is everywhere and is also unseen. Now the little boy was troubled by this story. He could not grasp how something could be everywhere and unseen. And as he came home, he discovered that his father was at work in his study. The father saw the son standing in the hallway, thinking, troubled about something. So he called him into his study and said, what are you thinking about? And the boy explained and asked the question, is it possible that something can be everywhere and unseen? Now, instead of answering the question, the father asked the boy, go and fetch me a glass of water. So the boy, thinking that his dad was thirsty, went off and got a glass of water and brought it to him. Then he said, go and get me some salt and a teaspoon. Now the boy was a little bit puzzled by this and he, so he went and got the salt and the teaspoon but it didn't seem to be answering his question. He gave that to his father and his father said, right, let's put the salt into the water. And he asked his son, what do you see? And the boy said, well, it's a bit cloudy. Excellent. Now, I've got some work to do. You run along and enjoy some play. The father put on his spectacles and returned to work. The son, Sveta Ketu, he was a bit puzzled because his, it seemed like his dad had not answered his question. Anyway, the next day, Sveta Ketu bounces down the stairs, two at a time, and his dad hears him coming and calls out, You're awake! Come here! And so he ran in to see his father, gave his dad a hug. And his dad says, now, could you get me the salt out of that glass, please? The son looked at the glass and said, well, it can't be there because it's all clear. It's not cloudy. The father asked him, do you think it's a different glass or do you think the salt has disappeared? Bring it over. Brings the glass over and the father says to the son, taste it. And so the son lifts up the glass and tastes it. The father asks, well? And the son says, it's salty. Father says, drink it from the other side. So he drank it from the other side. And he said the same thing. It's salty. Then he said, drink it from the middle. So he drank it from the middle. And again he said, it is salty. The father said, you see, son, God is like the salt. You cannot see God, 
but you know that God is there. On the next day, the father called the son into the study and said to the son, Son, what do you see out the window? The son looked out the window and saw the large tree in the garden that brought shade to the grass. He says, well, I can see the tree, the banyan tree, the tree that your father planted when he built this house. The father said, go and bring me one of the fruits. So he went off, brought the fruit in, and the father said, get me a plate and a knife. He brings the plate and knife and lays it on the desk. And the father says, cut open the fruit and tell me what you see. He opened up the fruit and he said, I can see the seed. And the father said, cut open the seed. And the father told the son to get the knife and cut the seed. So he cut the seed and he asked, what do you see? And the son said, nothing. And the father said, within this seed lies the force which makes it grow. You cannot see it, but you know it is there. That is the end of story one. About Sveta Ketu salt and the seed. What I want you to do is one of two things. I'd like you either one, to retell that story in your own words or on a storyboard or on a piece of art that shows the story of Sveta Ketu, the salt and the seed. It may well be that you go back to the beginning and listen to the story again. Maybe a few times so that you get it inside your head. That's one option. The second option is you go for something a little bit more challenging. That is, do a piece of work around something being everywhere but is unseen. You might pick out a number of different things that are everywhere but are unseen or you might focus just on one. You might do a piece of art, a piece of poetry, a story, storyboard, some photographs, something along the lines of is it possible that something can be everywhere but be unseen? Take a little bit of time to think about it, follow the instructions on go for skills and email your work to me. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. I'm sure it'll be amazing. Remember you, the drill for YouTube? You can like. You can also subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications if you want to do that. I hope you're doing okay. Missing you all. Take care and thank you. Bye.